old Nintendo gamer. And son. <laughs> Greg, you've been uh, taking the captain for a stroll this week. <laughs> yeah, well, not going into too much detail because it's it's just the Captain Two DLC that I want to talk about really. Um, well, I purchased it. It must have been last year or maybe even the year before. And it, for some reason, just like as much as I loved the game, I as soon as I started the DLC, I wasn't really feeling it, so I kind of just left it. And like compared to the start of the year, like I'm playing the Switch an awful lot more in the last couple of weeks, and I thought, you know, I think it's about time to go back to Captain Toad and and do those DLC levels, and for the most part, been having a wonderful time again. Um, it's just it is pretty much just more of the same, really. Although, like some of the levels are maybe a, a bit more catered towards actually playing in, in co-op with with someone else. I mean, you can play them by yourself, which is what I was doing, but uh, a lot of the levels are, you'll know from the main game, like um, Captain Toad obviously has the the bulb, the, like the light on it, on his head, strapped around his head, and like you can use that to like um, kill ghosts and stuff. And there's quite a few levels in the DLC where it's like um, there's lots of ghosts, and you'll there'll be like the the cherries. So you can grab those and then like it sort of like doubles the power of the light because you've got the two lights shining or whatever. So and that takes the ghost out very quickly. So proportionally, there's quite a lot of those compared to other levels. But I mean, they were all pretty decent. And you sort of like went round collecting sort of like five wee crowns, which would make like the crown at the end of the level appear as opposed to stars as it was in the main game. But yeah, again, just more of the same sort of stuff. And like that was really good. Um. Well, there's one level in particular that I didn't like, but I I expect it not to like it when I seen it come up, come up when I was flicking through sort of like the wee book. Uh, it was sort of like a you sort of blast into this sort of like rotating thing, rotating like cylinder kind of type thing, where which had a front and a back, and I was just irritating it. It was almost like a slide puzzle type thing without being a slide puzzle technically. Is it is it continuously moving as well? It moves when no, it's it's it stays still, but when you like go to one side of it, then it rotates down to like the bottom and stuff. So there's a couple of wee like tricky sections. If you make a wee mistake, it's like oh, you're all the way back down to the bottom and have to. It's I found it a bit irritating, but. I mean, I beat it eventually, and it was that was fine. And then I came to the like the boss was like easy enough. It's pretty much the same as the the boss for the main game. And then, like the main game, uh, you'll remember there's like Mummy Me Maze Forever. It was like the last level, the big challenge at the end of the main game. And when I seen there was a similar thing in this, <laughs> I sort of panicked a wee bit. But I beat it first time. Because it was a bit shorter and it was it was quite easy. The problem is, uh, in all of the missions, there's that wee secondary objective, which becomes clear after after you beat it the first time. And as you're going through this um, final labyrinth, um, after th- there's thirty parts to it, and after you go through like five or ten or like fifteen parts, or whatever, like you'll come to sort of like a wee bonus room type thing. You get coins, and then there's like part of the Toad Brigade is standing there, so you, you walk up and then they join you as you go around. And as you're walking around, you, they'll start like accumulating coins just as you're walking around. And, and like, that's cool. But there's uh, three in total, so that makes you a brigade of four. And the final um, mission is to like clear that labyrinth with all four of your party members. Getting around it by yourself is easy, but having to having four people just behind you, not not so fun, and it kind of irritates me that I probably won't want to actually go back and do that. I may try it a couple more times just to see, but yeah, I'll just have to live with knowing that it's not a hundred percent beat. Unfortunately, I never beat that. Um, I mean, maze me, whatever it was. I I just I I tried it four or five times and thought, oh, forget it. I I just, it's gonna take me like a hundred times before <laughs> I, I luck out or whatever I need to do. 
Yeah. No. I, I mean, that was one of those things where, like, it was sort of randomly generated. So, yeah. like, you could luck out sometimes with it. But, yeah. Shame. But it's, it's, it's worth playing. Like, the DLC is only, like, a five or something. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably worth it. Did you ever try the... You never had the VR labo kind of thing? You never tried the VR aspect of Captain Toad then, Greg? Um, I had the Labo VR for a few days and like after I built it all up and stuff I never really had much of an opportunity to play it. I tried one of the a couple of the wee games that came in with like the, the VR set and then I must have put I probably put like uh, Breath of the Wild on as well to see what it was like or maybe Odyssey as well but like it, the visual it was just terrible I thought and just didn't want to stick with it so I actually sold it pretty soon after that uh, yeah there's this new game coming out uh, it's a Japanese kind of anime manga um, series in Japan and they're bringing it localizing it to the west called um, Virtual Camp uh, Lake Motosu there's two of them but the lake one is coming out this week I believe um, it's going to use that Labo VR, which is, uh, you know, you think it's dead, and then all of a sudden <laughs> uh, um, some cutie anime Japanese uh, manga kind of uh, game for camping with cute waifus by the looks of it <laughs> um, is coming out in VR. Strange. Yeah. I might say a little bit surprised we haven't seen any more Labo sets. Yeah. yeah. Or more in- integration with the, the kind of VR stuff as well. Yeah. And just drop a couple of levels of uh, Mario Tennis or something in VR. Lovely. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.